Today we're gonna be talking about finishing the PI. Now, uh, lesson five in the Safe Scrum Master Training is all about finishing the PI. And you might be asking me the question, why does finishing the PI need to come as a last training when we have a PI planning session at the beginning? Why don't we just plan and finish? Why do we kind of uh, plan and then at one point again, at the end, we come and talk about finishing it? All right, now the way the PI is planned, which is program planning increment, it's a circle, right? Now for you to start another circle, what do you need to do? Kick out. So PI is a two days, everything is planned there, we have the plan, but then after we've executed the plan, which is a circle, we need to come back and we need to finish it, right? So which is what we teach in lesson five of the six, uh, Scrum Master Training Certification. And if you're looking forward to be certified, um, then you have a couple of days to get uh, enrolled in the next session that we have. But then if you're already certified, you need coaching, reach out to us and we're gonna help you crush that position in less than no time. No jokes about that, okay. Now, in finishing PI, what is very important? The last week or the last iteration of every PI cycle is reserved for planning and innovation. Uh, it's recommended, although not every company practices it that way, but you should, the last uh, week or the last iteration where it, which also hosts the next PI, should be reserved for innovation uh, uh, planning and also for the inspect and adapt. Now, so finishing PI is all about innovation planning. When we talk about innovation planning, what does it mean? We're kind of going through the whole system. And we're trying to look at what can we improve. That's innovation planning. We also, <clears throat> we're also looking at uh, how can we, how can we do things much better and it's also recommended that during that period, business already give us an idea of what we're going to be looking into the next cycle so that we can start somehow briefing our team about that, not really planning about that. It's an anti-pattern to finish all the planning before you get to the PI cycle, right? Because there's not, not going to be no learning. All right. So uh, the IP iteration is the last iteration and it helps you to plan, get prepared, look at what are some of the challenges, kind of complete unfinished work and get in, in place. But what is also very important during finishing the PI in order to kick up for the next PI is what we call the inspect and adapt event. The inspect and adapt event obviously should be about a three hours event where we're having our system demo. We are demoing the entire system to see what have been bad for the past uh, PI circles. And we're also doing our uh, um, problem solving workshop. So the problem solving workshop is where all the problems that we encounter during the PI circles have been identified then we're looking on how we can be able to fix it and the couple of techniques that are recommended for problem solving we have the five Y we have the fishbone diagram um, then also we have the uh, Pareto analysis, which help us to identify which of the root causes like has the most impact. And we get into a brainstorming session to find out how we can effectively em eliminate all of this uh, conflict or eliminate uh, all of this uh, threat and move ahead. <clears throat> all right, so that's an idea of uh, what finishing the PI is all about. Now, uh, what's the key role you play as scrum master in finishing the pi is going to be more on facilitation more on facilitation on breakout room session because remember most of the major events in the safe environment should be facilitated by the rte right so and also with the system demo it should be coordinated by people they manage uh, product management the um, uh, product owners and other stuff why because uh, we're talking about technical technical system here so the the one that should really prove that you can step in to facilitate there's definitely nothing wrong with that but remember one of the anti pattern in scrum is when the scrum master become start focusing on the technical part when you start focusing on the technical part you lose the sense of just kind of judging without really um uh the sense of judging with the sense of not judging the sense that you start judging 
right? Because you're now looking at the technical aspect. But they require a Scrum Master to be non-technical because they want you to look at the rationale. They want you to focus more on the business value. So, but this doesn't mean that you should not go ahead to understand the technical terms. If you're working with a team, at least understand the basic background of what the team is doing, some of the software that they're using. That's not getting tech. That's just about getting, getting the knowledge on how to better and effect, effectively help your team. All right. So that was it on finishing the PI. Finishing the PI is a very short uh, training. It's just about 16 slides and we are done with that. And what happened after that? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to talk about uh, the certification examination, the question, the level of difficulties and how we actually help you go through the certification successfully. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.